Welcome back to Simplify My Life. I'm Carmen Shank, and I'm here today with Tom Stanton. He is um, the owner of GoTani.com and Timber Trails, correct? Timber yes, Trails right. LLC doing business as GoTani, <laughs> if that's I have right. that right. Uh, Tom is a designer, builder, educator, and a consultant, and he's been working really hard. He's got a passion for legitimizing and legalizing tiny houses. So we're really glad to have him along for the conversation today. Hi, and welcome, Tom. Great. Hey, how are you doing? Thank you. We're doing great. It's great to have you along because I know you've got a wealth of information for our listeners today, and I know that... Um, your going tiny story, this is, well, first of all, let's talk about where you're standing. Okay. Um, looks like you've got a work in progress there. Tell me what, you're, what you've got going on. We do. We have probably somewhere in the neighborhood of about a three-year work in progress going on. This is a tiny house we built as a shell when we were in Alabama running a workforce development center, and we were producing some tiny home shells as a means of providing job skills training. So this was a demo unit we took to the Georgia Tiny House Show. I mean, it's been up and down the, the southeast uh, several thousand miles. Um, she's been up to almost 90 miles an hour, but don't tell State Highway Patrol that. Um, <laughs> when you got to pass somebody, you want to go. And so I can say this right. house has been to withstand at least 90 mile an hour wind. Um, wow. We have over the past few days been putting in the insulation in it because otherwise, as a company selling shells, we didn't have to do more than bring something pretty on the outside and left to finish on the inside. Mm -hmm. Now, as we're making this into our home, um, we're at that point where we're about to install the uh, the sheeting. We're going through a um, an inspection process using our friend Barbara with Buildsworth, and so the only thing we have left here is for her to take another look at it to ensure, from a record standpoint, that we actually have insulation in the walls, and then we can start to uh, to button up this house and make it livable before it gets cold in the mountains here in Virginia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, you've got a, another month or two, and then you're going <laughs> to start feeling the, the creeping cold <laughs> around the edges, I think. Yeah, I, I hear we get frost in about the time of my birthday in early October, and okay. as we're further up from, uh, from, from that, that was my dad who lives a little further down the mountain from us, um, it's probably going to be in the next three weeks that we see the first frost on the grass in the morning. Oh, so okay. We're, we're motivated at this point. Yes. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like the weather to uh, give you a little boost to get the, the uh -huh. project, you know, light a little fire under you. Yeah. So we are looking towards the kitchen, I believe. Yeah, it's a very small home. She's only 12 foot uh, long from this point to the back door, which is just beyond where the camera is. So you are looking at the kitchen area of the home. Um, we're going to build this more like a shelter. It was designed as a demo, so we didn't build a, a place for a bathroom in here. And without the need for a bathroom, we really question whether we need a lot of water for the kitchen. So our goal right now is not to worry about inbound water, not to worry about outbound wastewater, but really make sure that this is set up for dry camping and, um, and, and eventually also some solar. So our goal is to be able to have this where we can run the entire house off of solar energy. Oh, cool. Of course, yeah. we may have to temper our expectations for electric-based heat or cold, but if we yeah. do that, back off on the use of a blender or a microwave, then I think right. we're in a place where a few uh, two panels and, and some batteries will help us actually live off the grid. Yeah. Well, I have a recommendation of an oven for you if you're ready to part with a microwave, because I know this can be kind of a, an energy yeah. hog, so uh, there's, there's yeah. lots of options, you know, I mean, propane, all kinds of things, really. So I'd love to find out more. Cool. I'm, I'm famous for going into, I hate shopping. So when we go into stores, the first <laughs> thing I start doing is roving around. And if I go into a Walmart, I tell you what, I am bound to go into the small appliance section. <laughs> and today's small appliances for these uh, George Foreman grills and everything are kind of like, you know, take away the whole George Foreman rotisserie aspect and say, you know, that's, that's a usable oven right there in a small or tiny house footprint. So I, yeah. I, I stand and look at all that that can be applied in a tiny home, even though that wasn't yeah, exactly. good intent. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a loft in this particular um, house? We do. Um, it's directly above us. So behind the camera is a large patio door. It's a six foot doorway. Uh, just above that doorway, about seven foot is our ceiling that's right above me here. And so uh, the back of the house is actually cantilevered two feet. So it's a 12 foot trailer. We have a full-size loft with more um, open vaulted space because we pushed the loft out by two foot. And then also here as well, we've retained two foot of floor space by pushing the nose out and making it um, not only aerodynamic, but to add back more floor space. So we have good oh, cool. usable uh, eight by about seven foot counting the wheel wells. And we're planning to have on the sides here, which you can't probably see very well, is that we have on one side a cabinet that's going to give us 
some space for um, hanging clothes on either side for hanging clothes and other uh, clothes uh, in the middle. And Midge's workstation will be a standing desk. My workstation will be our entertainment area on the other side. And both sides will have flip down desk spaces that can tidy away the office when it's time to watch movies at night. Mm -hmm. and, um, and our heat source is going to be a large and attractive um, infrared uh, fireplace. Oh, okay. So it's one yeah. of those real nice long horizontal ones that look really cool. And we know from working off of an infrared heater for the last two years that the infrared uh, heat source that looked like a little wood stove uh, gave us plenty of, of heat until it got down to around zero. And yeah. that's where we needed to actually start to supply additional heat through um, you know, a, a camp stove, a camp heater, basically. Well, and if memory serves, I think we, we realized that our little house would do uh, 30 degrees difference from whatever was outside. Mm -hmm. So we kind of knew if the weather forecast said it was going to get really, really cold in Virginia, really, really cold is <laughs> anything in the yeah. teens or lower, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we would, um, in some cases, we'd camp out someplace else or, um, or we'd just throw another blanket on. We had kind of the little burrito thing of <laughs> the down right. cover and there was the two of us and the dog in the little cubby and um, nice. it actually worked out great, you know, getting yeah. up in the morning wasn't anything any of us wanted to do, but no. we were always no. comfortable at night and that was uh, yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. We go, uh, we go early for socks and house shoes. Um, we, we've been taking our, I mean, if you live in a tiny home and we've lived in a series of what we could call tiny homes or interim tiny homes until we move in here um, from a, a big RV down to a smaller RV down to another RV. And also now the ambulance that we use is our motor home and our, our full time residence at this moment. And a little bit of nastiness on the bottom of your shoes can make the whole house look filthy. So we take oh, yeah. shoes off the doorway and house shoes are a great way to stay comfortable. And, and we live in sweatshirts. So, I mean, they're there is an accommodation that's been made in the recreational units. Our goal here and our hope here is that it's small enough and also well enough insulated compared to an RV wall. You right. know, we're talking, you know, three times the width of the RV wall and probably more of that given to insulation by percentage. So we feel that we're, we're going to have a very insul well insulated home. And it gets into the minus numbers here in, in Floyd, Virginia. We're, we're all of about five miles away from the Blue Ridge Parkway. So we are as, about as far up in Virginia as you can go in the mountains. Oh, cool. Well, that does make a difference in terms of how, how cold it gets. <laughs> yeah, <absolutely. laughs> the higher you are, the colder it gets. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. doubt about that. But the beauty of Virginia is you've got all the seasons. <laughs> yeah, we actually have. No have, pretend seasons here. We've got the real thing. <laughs> no, you go through, if you want seasons, go through them. Um, it was funny, last year we spent some time in February down in Alabama helping my brother. And so we got to see early spring in Alabama. We came back into Virginia for spring. Uh, then we moved up here come about May time frame. It was funny. We ended up with about two months worth of spring, which meant two months worth of pollen, which wasn't the fun oh. part. <laughs> We're always talking about intentional living, purpose, and contentment. It's so much fun. <laughs> I put together these conversations in an online virtual summit. You can see the rest of this conversation and a whole bunch more at simplifymy.life. By the way, it's all free. That's really cool, right? Click the learn more button when you get there and that will show you the dates. Mark your calendar, register to save your seat, and I will see you at the summit. Don't miss a thing. This information is so exciting and I'm so passionate about this topic because what it does is it takes us out of overwhelm into clarity and contentment and confidence and that's really exciting for me and that's what I want for you. So thanks for listening. I really appreciate it. Go check out simplifymy.life now and register. See you at the summit. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.